everybody, this is Andrew from Androinica.com. Just showing you how easy it is to update your rooted phone if you have the CyanogenMod. mod. First thing you want to do is go to the Android market and grab the CyanogenMod mod updater. We have a link to it in the in the article. Uh, you can also just search the Android market, it's pretty easy to find. Okay, so when you open it, you're gonna see available updates and existing updates. There's two types of updates. You have the anchor, which are the stable ones. These are the ones that are more tested, more uh, less errors. And this is you have the little uh, beaker, which are the experimental builds. These are the the ROMs and updates where he's tweaking things, testing things out. You're gonna get more errors, but you're gonna get to see some of the earlier features quicker. You can also check the change log at the bottom. This is going to give you a detailed description of what's new. Uh, you see some uh, a fix for camera crash. Uh, you see call canvas for free cache on low memory. So you're going to see features uh, for each one. And every time you change an available update, you see these are all the updates that you can choose from. There's something new. And then you click change log again. And now you see global searches back. So you, you see all the options that I have available to you. So uh, I'm going to download an update right now. Before you download, try to be sure you're on Wi-Fi because downloads are usually around 45, 47 MB. So I'm going to start downloading now and wait until the update comes to my phone. It's going to take about uh, three minutes. So we're going to just fast forward this real quick. Okay, and we're back. Now as you can see, it's finished downloading and gives me two choices, apply now or apply later. Apply later is if you want to do something else and then load it manually. Uh, I'm going to choose apply now because I, uh, I have nothing, nothing else to do. So since you're about to upgrade, if you press update, the phone will restart itself in recovery mode and apply the update. Click update that way. If you want to uh, perform a backup, you should probably do apply later so that way you can go into recovery mode and perform the backup and apply the update yourself at the same time if you choose apply now it's just gonna go straight ahead and do the update for you without for, without making a backup you always want to make a backup when you're <coughs> excuse me whenever you're loading a new ROM or updating because in case something goes wrong you'll have something to go back to So I'm going to put this down and let the phone do its thing for a while. And as you see, it's saying installing update, formatting, blah, 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 writing boot. Whenever you see this come up, that means it's ready to, to load. So what I can do now is perform the back, backup that I didn't. So I'm going to click right here and perform an Android backup. And when that's finished, I'll at least have something to go back to. I have I had one already that I did earlier but I'm gonna perform another one. I wouldn't recommend that but because you never know it. It's just general paranoia but I decided to do it anyway. <clears throat> okay as you can see I just formed the backup uh, just in case I'm gonna reboot the system now and when it's finished loading up, I should have a new version of the Cyanogen mod on my phone. Just like that, updated. Didn't have to do any crazy thing. This is Angie from Androinica.com saying good luck.